Hello guys, it is Eric here again. I have a bit of free time this weekend, so I figured I could try to bang out another video for you all. Uh, in this video, I will be covering how to make a simple armor status mod. So what we want to do is we're going to go into client name, we're going to go mods, implements, and we're going to make a new class. Uh, let's just call this mod armor status. And now we need to do the same thing, we need to extend a mod draggable. And in here we're going to implement all the methods. Um, so this one, we're, let's just set this to 64 for now. Um, oops. We'll set this one to 64. Um, we're going to have this, then we're going to implement um, render dummy as well, because we're going to use that today. Um, then we're for the save, for the load, let's do that really quick. So we're going to say private PRI private screen position position. And then I'm going to assign this to the center of the screen right now. 0 0.5, 0 0.5. Um, uh, you, we must kind of assign this just to the beginning, um, just so when we render, uh, if we don't load anything, like then it's going to load null and we want to have a position. So we're going to return position, and for save, we are going to do this dot position equals position. So for render, let's write a couple things. So we're going to go through every single item stack um, in their armor. So we're going to say for int i equals zero, i is greater than Minecraft, or mc dot the player dot inventory. So get their inventory, then get their armor inventory, uh, and then dot length, i plus plus, simple for loop going through it. We're gonna say item stack, item equal or item stack that's a better name equals mc dot the player dot inventory dot armor inventory of i and let's import item stack and i'm just going to call a function that we haven't made yet we're going to call render item stack and we're going to pass in um I and let's pass in the item stack. Um, now, in render dummy, what I want to do is if you're not wearing any armor, I want to render just some dummy armor so you can position um, this module correctly and in the position you want, essentially. So, what I'm going to do is we're going to call render item stack and we'll do uh, so position three is helmet, so it goes three, two, one, zero. So helmet to boots, boots would be zero. So I'm going to say new item stack of items dot diamond. Well, let's just do diamond armor. So let's do diamond helmet. I'm going to copy this three more times. This is going to be three, two, one, zero. And we'll change this to diamond chest plate, diamond leggings, and diamond boots. Now we should create this render item stack function. So I'm going to hover over it. I'm going to say create method. Okay, so now in render item stack, um, just for because that takes out a lot, we're just going to name that is. Um, Probably could keep it as item stack. I just find it easier to have a sh just a short name when I'm using things a lot. Um, first, what I want to do is we're going to say if is is null. So if we don't have an item stack, we're just going to basically just return out of this function. We don't want to try to render anything because we can't render null. We can just not render anything, and that's pretty much the same as just rendering air. It's just rendering nothing. So now I'm going to do gl11. GL11 dot GL push matrix. This is just a good habit to push your matrix at the beginning of rendering and then pop it at the end so you don't run into any severe rendering errors. Um, then what I want to do is I want 
um, if an integer that tells me how much to add to the y position depending on where it is in the um, like list of them that I'm rendering. So I'm going to do int y add equals student, let's go negative 16 because an item 16 um, times i and then minus 40 or no, we'll do plus 48. That should be right. That should work. Um, and then what we want to do is we're going to say if, so we want to check if the item is, so if the item stack dot get item, because the stack of items you have is, you can get the singular item out of it. And we want to say is damageable. So I want to draw like um, how much percent is left in, as a string on my item. Um, but only if it's damageable. So, like, for example, if a minigame puts a block of wool on your head, that's not a damageable item, and so the math is not going to actually return anything useful. And you could potentially have a crash on your hands. Probably not. You'll probably just get an infinite, uh, an in positive infinity number. But um, I don't really feel the need to draw a string if it's not damageable. So we're just going to say, if it's damageable, say double damage equals I'm going to say I as I get max damage minus I as dot get item damage so check those we are going to then divide them and we want to cast this to a, a double so we're doing double division I as dot get max damage and then we're going to times that by 100. So it's out of 100 instead of just from 0 to 1. And then we're going to say font dot draw string. Um, and I'm going to use string dot format here um, to format the string. So I could do two decimal places. So we're going to say percent dot 2f percent percent. So that's two decimal places. And we're going to pass in damage here. Um, the color, we can just pass in negative one. That's a shortcut for white. And now for the X and Y, what we want to do is we're just going to say position dot get absolute X. So actually what I want to do is pass in um, a screen position. Screen position, oops, I spelled that wrong. Screen, oh, come on. Screen position. And now I need to pass in position to all of those. Because we could use the, the global one we save and load to, but it's better to just use this one. Um, so what we're gonna do is just save position there. That's better. And then y, we're going to say y dot get absolute position to get absolute y um, plus y add. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add 20 to this just to nudge it over a little bit more. Um, and then to y add, I'm just going to add 5 um, for the rough string length. You can fool with these values a little bit more depending on how you want the positioning um, to happen, but we want to nudge it over 20. So there, so you nudge it over 16 and then nudge it over a little bit more just so you don't draw over the item stack. Um, then what we want to do is actually draw the item stack. So what I'm going to do is say render helper, and I'm going to enable GUI standard lighting. Um, this is just a helper function. In Minecraft to um, render items in a GUI, correct orientation, correct lighting. Um, then we're going to say mc dot get i get render item. I think it's called yeah. Get render item dot render item and effect into GUI. We're going to pass in the item stack, and then the position is position dot get absolute x. Position is get absolute y. Um, and we want to add y add to this again. So don't forget to do that, or they're all going to be on top of each other. 
and then we want to say gl11 dot glpop matrix. Now that this class is done, um, let's go ahead. I'm just going to add a little bit more enters there. Let's go ahead and add it to our mod instances. So we're going to say private static mod armor status mod armor status and I'm going to say mod armor status equals new mod armor status API to register mod armor status. Now we should be good to go. Let's hope this all works. Make sure, make sure everything's going according to plan. Let's go to single player, our development world. And there we go, we see uh, a chest plate. I'm currently wearing a chest plate. Um, but if we push our key bind, we can now position this over here. We see our fake diamond armor. If I exit out of that, we see chest plates being rendered. Uh, I'm going to move it a little, I'm going to move it up here just so it's not in the way of chat. But what we can do is, let me move that hello world out of the way. And just make that full screen. So now what we can do is let's just get some armor. So let's get like some diamond boots, golden pants, and like chain helmet. Good enough. Put those on. They're all rendering correctly. Um, now what we should test is if we do like replace item entity the player name uh, slot dot armor dot head and Minecraft wool uh, like some colored wool. Yeah, so that works correctly because blocks are not a damageable item. And it looks like it is rendering the colors correctly. Um, they're bright, bright colors just like they were in your inventory. So yeah, that's, that's about it guys. Um, thanks for watching this tutorial.